Hi to all. Welcome to my class number 11. Linear equation 1 variable. Chapter 2, class 8. Today I am going to discuss equations reducible to the linear form and exercise 2.6. Let us see equations reducible to the linear form. Here is a question to solve. x plus 1 by 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 8. Here in the denominator also variables are there. That is 2x plus 3. It is a very simple method to solve. Here you just make a cross multiplication. That is you multiply x plus 1 into the denominator of the other side 8. Here also, you can multiply 2x plus 3 into 3. So, this is the first step. We have to cross multiply. So that you can write it as x plus 1 into 8 is equal to 3 into 2x plus 3. Now, remove this bracket here x plus 1 is the here 2x plus 3 is the then you get 8 into x 8x plus 8 into 1 8 3 into 2x 6x plus 3 into 3 9 now transpose 6x to LHS and 8 to RHS we get 8x minus 6x is equal to 9 minus 8 plus 8 will become minus 8 plus 6 will become minus 6x that is 2x is equal to 1 and x you will get it as 1 by 2 here you have exercise 2 points is 5 questions look at the first question 8x minus 3 by 3x is equal to 2 here there is no denominator. So, you multiply 3x into 2 only. So, we get 8x minus 3 is equal to 2 into 3x. That is 8x minus 3 is equal to 6x. Now, take x one side, the number to the other side and solve yourself. Here also, in the question number 2, 9x by 7 minus 6x into 15. So, here also you can write 9x is equal to 15 into 7 minus 6x. Remove the bracket and find out the answer. Third, fourth and fifth we already discussed. So, do yourself. Here are the answers. Do check yourself. Now, let us discuss a word problem. Here is the question. Present ages of Anu and Raj are in the ratio 4 is to 5. 8 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. Find their present age. Here, two persons are there, Anu and Raj. Their present ages are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Then the condition given is 8 years from now. Let us make a table on this. Present age of Anu, you can take it as 4x. And Raj you can take it as 5 since it is given as in the ratio 4 is to 5. 8 years from now means after 8 years. What will Anu's age? Present age is 4x. After 8 years, s. It will be 4x plus 8. Now what about Raj's age after 8 years? It is 5x plus 8. Now look at the condition given in the question. 8 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. Their ages are 4x plus 8 and 5x plus 8. Their ratio means 4x plus 8 by 5x plus 8. It will be equal to 5 is to 6. So that you can write this. 4x plus 8 by 5x plus 8 is equal to 5 by 6. Now, let us write in steps. Let the age of Anu and Raj be 
4 HCS and 5 HCS respectively. Then after 8 years, Anush's age will be 4 H plus 8 years. After 8 years, Raj's, Raj's age will be 5 H plus 8 years. According to the question, 4 H plus 8 by 5 H plus 8 is equal to 5 by 6. That is the ratio of the age after 8 years given as 5 is to 6. Now cross multiply, what will you get? 6 into 4s plus 8 is equal to 5 into 5s plus 8. Do remove the brackets. That means you have to multiply 4s by 6 and 8 by 6. Here 5s by 5 and 8 by 5. You get 24s plus 48 is equal to 25s plus 40. Here 24h you can transpose to other side. Then other side will become 25h minus 24h. 40 you can transpose to LHS. So we get 48 minus 40 is equal to 25h minus 24h. This 24h I transpose to this side. That, is, that you will get it as 8 is equal to x. Or you can say x is equal to 8. So you can conclude Anu's percentage is equal to 4h, that is 4 and 8, 32 years. And Raj's percentage is equal to 5h, that is 5 into 8, equal to 40 years. Here is a question for you. The ages of Hari and Hari are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 4 years from now, the ratio of the ages will be 3 is to 4. Find their percentage. Present age you can take it as 5h and 7h. 4 years from now means 5h plus 4, 7h plus 4. And the ratio 5h plus 4 by 7h plus 4 will be equal to 3 by 4. Cross multiply and find out the values of x. You will get the answer as Harry Sage 20 years and Harry Sage 28 years. Do yourself. Here is question number 7. The denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8. If the numerator is increased by 70 and denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is 3 by 2. Find the rational number. The first condition is the denominator is greater than the numerator by 8. So numerator if you take x, denominator will be x plus 8. That you can write first. Let the numerator be x, then the denominator is equal to x plus 8. Now look at the question. The condition given is when the numerator is increased by 70, denominator is decreased by 1, then the number is 3 by 2. The numerator increased by 70 means x plus Denominator is decreased by 1 means x plus 8 minus 1. That is x plus 7. Now the number is given as 3 by 2. So we can write. According to the question x plus 17 by x plus 7 is equal to 3 by 2. Do cross multiply and find out the answer. Here 2 into x plus 17 is equal to 3 into x plus 7. 7. Now remove the bracket. You get 2h plus 34 is equal to 3h plus 21. Now here 3h, here 2h. Better this 2h you transpose to this side. Therefore this will become 3h minus 2h. Now plus 21 you transpose to the other side. So the next step you can write it as 34 minus 21 is equal to 3x minus 2x. Now, that is x is equal to 13 is equal to x. So, that, that means x is equal to 13. So, what will be the numerator? Numerator will be 13. And the denominator, it will be 13 plus 8, 21. So, you can write the number, the rational number as 13 by 21. That is all for today's class. So this chapter is completed. 
do complete your notebooks first we will come with the next video the next chapter till then goodbye